Hemisphere Suite, Basic Instructions, Part 4, Master Clock Forwarding. Master Clock Forwarding allows you to take a clock signal that's coming into input 1 and use it as though it were coming into input 3. Uh, so this way you can use a single clock coming into 1 to drive both hemispheres. Uh, as an example here, I've got a clock out coming out of Variegate 4 Plus. That'll go into trigger input 1 and it starts driving uh, sequence 5. To activate master clock forwarding, I hold down the left encoder button for about two seconds. When you release it, a little clock icon appears at the top of the screen and the Turing machine starts running. That's being clocked uh, from uh, trigger one. Note that uh, when cl master clock forwarding is enabled, uh, clocks going to trigger three are ignored. So my clock signal here is not going to do anything because forwarding mode is on. This doesn't apply to gates, so if you have an env uh, envelope generator on the right hemisphere, it will still respond to the gate signal. It just won't respond to clock pulses. Uh, to disable master clock forwarding, I just do the same operation again. Hold down the left encoder button for about two seconds. And now the Turing machine is responding to its gate coming in on three. This is a very good performance control as well because you can time the start of master clock forwarding based on when you release the button now. And uh, you, you can time things that way.